successfully chosen community and welcome to Foster My Stories, an achievement-focused podcast for the foster adoption and orphan community. I'm your host, Shalina Michelle Tate, and I'm here after being back from last week's official Foster My Stories podcast launch. I was so excited about that, and I am equally excited again today <laughs> that you have taken the time out of your schedule to join me here for this um, podcast episode. Today, I wanted to uh, just highlight a couple of uh, additional outlets, um, short films, um, movies, and a book that you can take the time out with your family or yourself to um, dive into. For the set of short films today, I wanted to highlight um, two short films called, well, it's called Removed, and the other one's called Removed Part 2. Um, and you can look both of those up on uh, the removedfilm.com. Once again, the short film that I'm highlighting today is called Removed and Removed Part 2. And you can find both of those short films at the removedfilm.com. Dynamic, dynamic, dynamic. <laughs> I highly recommend you go see them. It's been, they're very short films, but just they capture the totality of the situation. And I'm going to leave it there because I really want you to go watch them. Once again, it's called Rem- and Removed Part 2. You can find both of those uh, via YouTube. And they also have a website, the Removed Film. Dot com um, And I would not be surprised if they are currently um, in the works of making other projects. They are a dynamic um, produ- production company, and they really, in my opinion, have captured the essence of the subject matter, uh, which is the title for me. Um, okay, and the two movies for you today that I wanted to highlight that you probably have already seen these movies, but I wanted to highlight that they are um, relative to the subject matter um, for you to watch any of the, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and add a third one. Three movies you can um, watch. That kind of gives a little bit of versatility going on right here. <laughs> the first movie I want to highlight is called The Blind Side. It's starring Sandra Bullock. And if you have not seen this film, dynamic film, if you have anybody who's like a, a sports fanatic or loves sports, then they would definitely enjoy this film. <laughs> but the storyline is right on time with the subject matter of foster care adoption. Um, and I really believe you would really enjoy that film. The second film I want to highlight for you today is called Give Me Shelter. Give Me Shelter. Um, please look it up. It's phenomenal. It stars Vanessa Hudgens, who um, was the star of the Disney Channel um, High School Musical franchise. Uh, yeah, she is in a completely different role. She's not glammed up. She is down in the dirty. Let's say it that way. <laughs> does not look like herself at all, but that is the art of performance and acting. You have to be able to transform with each character. So I highly recommend that film. Um, it would basically be more on the lines of a preteen teen film, maybe. Um, parents, I would probably suggest that you watch it first and see if you, know, you can uh, watch it with your children. It's not a bad film, but it, but it goes in deep. I say it that way. Um, and then, of course, the third movie, which is so popular, it has a gazillion <laughs> remakes in my eyes, is Annie, the, the movie Annie. And everyone knows the songs and probably knows the dances and the storyline. But Annie, um, and there's so many different variations um, highlighting uh, that storyline that it will be a, a fun movie for for you to watch with your kids and, and really break down and explain to them, um, especially if you don't have foster children or children who's orphaned or adopted, you can explain, you know, why they're in that situation or the movie does a dynamic job itself. Or if you do have children um, in that situation, maybe this will give them some, some encouragement and also a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm referring to the... Um, the variation that has Jamie Foxx uh, and Cameron Diaz in those roles. So I, I highly recommend, but any any variation of any will do because you'll probably end up singing and dancing the whole way <laughs> through the, the film. Uh, once again, let me highlight, so far I've covered 
the short film, the two short films of this month, Removed and Removed Part 2, which you can find via YouTube and or you go to the website, theremovedfilm.com. Once again, I would not be surprised if they have other projects in the work. Phenomenal production company. Then you also have uh, three movies now. I had two before, right? <laughs> three movies that I've highlighted for you to go and consider watching. The first is The Blind Side, uh, starring Sandra Bullock. The second movie is Gimme Shelter, starring Vanessa Hudgens, who is also, was also the star of the High School Musical um, franchise via Disney. And the third is widely popular. I got the song in my head right now. I'm not going to sing it, though. <laughs> Called Annie. And, um, but the, the I'm referring to is the version with Jamie Foxx and Cameron Diaz. And once again, you can go watch any other variations. I'd like to check out my book, Foster, uh, which you can find on Amazon.com. Yes, that is a foster care relative book. Um, feel free to uh, go check it out. You can get the hardback copy or download the ebook copy right there from Amazon.com. Okay, just wanted to say that. <laughs> but that's a book you can check out. It is foster care relative um, with the lessons and just um, things that I've learned along the way. But the book that I want to highlight now is a book about foster care for foster parents. It's called To the End of June, The Intimate Life of American Foster Care by Chris Bean. So I'm going to give you the spelling of Chris Bean. Um, it's C-R-I-S-B-E-A-M. Once again, long title, but the title of this book is called To the End of June, The Intimate Life of American Foster Care by Chris, C-R-I-S Bean, B-E-A-M. And really the synopsis is through this book, or this book, is a thorough, no frills look at the complexities of a deeply broken system. I have to agree with that. I have to highly agree that the system is flawed and broken in many ways, but I believe there's voices in individuals being raised up now to help bring a new light and new changes to that system. <laughs> Even though she's a foster mother herself, Bean doesn't write solely from her own perspective, traces the life cycle of the foster process from initial placement in a home all the way through aging out. Bean doesn't shy away from the racist roots of the foster care system while simultaneously hoping for a better way for it. So it definitely sounds like she is wanting to tell their story, but from her perspective, this is dynamic because she is a foster mother telling a testimony from her perspective. So once again, the book is called To the End of June, The Intimate Life of American Foster Care by Chris Bean. Um, I highly advise that you go check this out if possible. And of course, there are many other books out there. I will be highlighting those next time. But that is your list. I hope you've been paying attention. Um, what I've said so far, this will be on the recap at the Facebook Watched up my stories Facebook page. All right, well, that is your list for the month of December. And know that this content is only meant to inspire you, not to segregate you or make you feel ashamed. You know, once again, like I said on the last episode, the foster care adoption in orphan communities, a lot of times there's a stigma attached to those communities, especially the underserved. And here at Foster My Stories, I never want you to feel as if you are just a number, just a label, just in a box. Here is a community that's going to embrace you right where you are through and came from. Or once again, if you can't relate, you know, it's no worries. You are learning this journey and exploring this journey with all of us. All of you who are listening are the gracefully chosen. The desire is that from watching and or reading the content of what I've heard earlier is that you become inspired to create your own short films, movies, books, artwork, music, dance, poetry, purpose. On the next episode, you will hear from a community guest called Jessica Burton and how she came about creating her mentorship program. I'm so excited for 
you to listen in on that interview. And also, once again, if you have an achievement testimony, if you serve in the community or you yourself are an expert or part of an expert organization, I would love to hear from you. You can email me at shalinatate at outlook.com. You can also send me a message via uh, Foster My Stories Facebook page. And then there's also a WhatsApp Um, link there on the Foster My Stories Facebook page if you want to reach out that way as well. I would love to chat with you.